Hey, what's up, guys? Showtime, showtime, show to fit this over here. Size, growth, get big. All right. So, last contest recovery was 1995. First runner up, Mr. Tri Cities. No training for it. Jim, Jim, uh, Jimmy Fallon, the owner, he said, Hey, lift up your shirt. Lift up your shirt. Hey, you got abs. Why don't you compete tomorrow? I'm saying, Compete tomorrow. I haven't been training for a fucking show, right? I was coming out of a uh, Spring football for University of Montana. And I wasn't dieting, I wasn't doing shit, right? I was all the way down to 177 pounds, right? Or 180, 185, I don't remember. But uh, I was down from 190 or two, even up to 205 at one point, fluctuating between 190 and 200 throughout the uh, winter and football and winter and spring um, semester when I was playing football for University of Montana and taking a theater class. And uh, got talked into going on stage to play second, but uh, I hadn't been trained for it, nothing, man. No diet, no water cut, no carbo plea carbo, nothing, nothing, man. I just showed up, and I took second, which was the, at that time, was the best I had ever done in the Mr. Tri Cities, because I was fourth in my first one the year before, uh, third or fourth in uh, teenage division and open, and I trained for that show, so. Uh, Second place in 95, 96 comes around, right? And I'm drinking like three to four times a week, man, okay? And uh, I was taking care of my buddy uh, who had a developmental disability. I worked for the state of Washington. And uh, so he been, went to summer school, so I stayed around to take care of him, right? And so I'm drinking like every day, right? Three to four times a week. And I just got to engage to a gal from South America and all this. And uh, football's coming up too, right? I'm supposed to be training for football. So, uh, so I'm drinking from, we started at 5 or 6 in the afternoon, right? Now it's 6 in the morning. And the, the group of guys and gals we had had withered down from, uh, from a whole bunch of us. Just me and Chuck. And, uh, and we were uh, BSing. And, and it, after it whittled down to just us, for a couple of minutes, I said, well, Chuck, it was great to talk to you and everybody else. Thanks for inviting us, because, you know, I don't want to be a fucking glass guy. You know, overstate his welcome, right? Because, you know, some people do that. Plus, it's 6 in the morning, right? He probably wants to go to bed. I want him to go to bed, right? And uh, everybody else had just left, like, the last person left, like, two minutes ago. So, I wasn't going to stick around and be the only thing that was, you know, getting in the way of sleep. So, I said, all right, cool. See you later. So, I'm walking back to the dorm room. And I just finished my last beer, and I was like, you know what? the contest next week, maybe if I start the Arnold Schwarzenegger competition routine of five or six hours a day and quit drinking, maybe I can compete. It was a stupid idea, Arnold, right? Well, I did that. I did my five or six hours a day, and uh, that helped me get the discipline to get off the the, uh, the alcohol. I dropped down to one to three times uh, per week after that show. I mean, one to three times. One, one time a week, at the, at the very most, sometimes once a month, uh, Steve Hassan talked me into that. Um, but I was not able to actually follow through with it until I dedicated myself to do a bodybuilding competition. That's what got me off of the, the that's what got me away from my alcohol, from being an alcoholic, okay? And I've never had a problem with drinking since. Um, binge drinking maybe, you know, my once a month or something, especially if I did something stupid while drinking and broke shit, but tipped over course, and we'll get to that in another video, but, um, anyways, so I decided to do the show, and, uh, well, I don't know what to expect, right, because I didn't train for it, except for a week, but I came in there, and, uh, and I fucking won the show, right, and, of course, fucking Mike Ward came in peeled, and, uh, Ben Matheson came in peeled, and they were the winners of the other classes, so, uh, Mike Ward was the little guy, he won the lightweight, and then Ben Matheson won the middleweight, and he was peeled, he looked good, he looked like a, like an NPC, uh, light heavyweight winner, and he was, he was about a buck 80, buck 81, but he looked 205, he was shredded, and he was big full muscle bellies, he had that nice Arnold Schwarzenegger peak on the bicep like he always gets when he, when he competes, and of course he got much bigger throughout the years, and started showing up on stage like 205, and massive, um, he was 180, 181, so he was in his prime yet. <clears throat> so, we face off for the overall, and of course, Ben wins. But, 
fucking, I was happy with just one in my fucking class, not dieting or anything, right? Because most people, they diet 12 to 16 weeks for a show. And that's the only time I won on that short notice. Um, all the other times I won shows, of, yeah, 12 to 16 week prep, man. Um, except for 97, I'll get into that later. That was a five week prep. I won that show too. But, uh, anyways, that was, that was the, uh, that was a 96 one. And that was fun. But, uh, anyhow, that was a little more uneventful, I guess. It wasn't a whole lot of build up to that one, but it, was, it is what it is. And it was my first ever. Here I'd been doing, I had been competing. That was my fourth year. So, four years before I won a show. Everything else was sixth, fourth, sixth, fourth, third, third, and second. Now, first. First, first time ever being a, a champion, and I made my fucking shirt back in 94 when I went AWOL from the Navy, and it said, Mr. Tri-Cities Champion on it, and I fucking got third place. <laughs> so, you know, so much of speaking things into existence, right? But uh, that's what happened, but it just took a couple extra years, so it, it happened. It just didn't happen in 94, it happened in 1996. So sometimes it's just persistence that gets you there. All right, this has been Showtime with Showtime Shred Fitness over here. Size, growth, get big. All right. And in 95, just for the record, uh, my buddy who ended up being my prep coach, him and T-Bone, in 97. And they showed me a bunch of cool shit in 96. After the show, I still didn't know Steve at the time. Steve Hassan showed me. No, they had already showed me some shit by then. Uh, Steve Hassan won in 95, and, between, and later, at, shortly after that show, when I actually met him in Central, didn't even recognize him from the show, and then in 96, uh, in the, that was for the Eastern Washington, not Mr. Tri-Cities, and then in 96, in the Mr. Eastern Washington, because had the same show, same day, uh, Andre Galloway won the heavyweights, and you also won the overall Mr. Eastern Washington, because that was an NPC show, and it was an NPC show, and it was a non-NPC show, all in the same shebang. Um, the year before, 95, it still wasn't NPC affiliated. So, all right, it's been showtime. Showtime should fit this over here. Size, growth, get big, all right. Aqua Fresca, Vino Puro, Strecciadora, which means in Italian, Fresh water, beautiful wine. I mean, fresh water, red wine, beautiful women. All right, mujeres bonitas. Take care and God bless.